Today's meal, we are going Italian. We're at a place called Los Immortales, which means the Immortals. It's a very established restaurant that dates back to the 50s and it's located in the theater district here in Buenos Aires. And we've ordered something called a calzone, which is basically like a folded pizza. Now, I don't think I've ever had that before, even in North America. So it'll be an interesting experience. I think Sam will really enjoy it because he loves any type of pizza. So yeah, we're just waiting for that to arrive. Should be coming soon. Are you eagerly awaiting the arrival of our meal? Yeah, I'm seriously excited, especially for this one, because I've never had a calzone before. And considering how much pizza I've had in my life, that's kind of shocking, to be honest. Yeah, they kind of have like an, an imitation in Canada. It's called Pizza Pockets. <laughs> Yeah, it's like these like, these like microwavable folded pizzas and yeah. you know, they're awful. They taste awful. It's like junk food for teenagers yeah. once they come back from school, I don't think that's I, what they eat. I probably haven't had one of those since I was 16 or 17. Yeah, so. same here. <laughs> yeah, and anyways, we picked out this place to eat through, I did a bit of research online and this was rated as one of the top pizza places in Buenos Aires and they said they specialized in calzones and also it's one of the older joints in the city so this is really cool this place has a lot of character so the calzone has arrived and first things first I am shocked by the size of this thing like have a look at it over here this is just half of it because our waiter already sliced it and served us up our, our individual portions. But look at that. It, it really was like the size of a whole pizza folded in half. <laughs> and like, look at how thick it is. Like the, the stuffing just is just oozing out. Look use, at that. Use your hand as a sense of scale here. A sense of scale? How do you yeah. want? <laughs> but yeah, it's massive. I think we're going to struggle to finish this. Like, it could feed three people. Three or four people? Well, I'm quite hungry today, so... Alright. So, first All bite. Alright, time for the first bite. So, so far I can see tomato, mozzarella, there's ham, mushrooms, and who knows, there may be a few more surprises in there. Let's see what we find. Mm. And how do oh, we wow. like that? Oh. Oh. You know what? You always forget to blow on your food. Mm. <laughs> oh man, that was really hot. Okay, anyways, it's really nice. It was like a lot of cheese in there, so you really have to chew it because it's like so stringy and gooey. Um, but yeah, I, I do enjoy it. Is it similar to pizza? It kind of is, um, but you know what? There's no tomato sauce. That's what sets it apart from a pizza. This calzone has no tomato sauce, it's just the filling. Um, so it's kind of nice. I have to say, I do like it. I do like it. I'm pleasantly surprised. So let's see what the pizza expert has to say about the calzone. Well, before I even talk into this, like, look at how much cheese there is. The copious amount of cheese is actually oozing out. I, I literally haven't touched this. This is just how it was served on my plate. Yeah. So I'm going to try to grab a bit of everything here. Let's just cut it up. Make sure I get a big slab of that cheese. I feel like we almost need a spoon for this. No. <laughs> That is a lot of cheese. But the one thing that surprises me, like this is just my first bite ever to try this, is that it's a lot juicier than what I thought. Like with all of the mushrooms and tomatoes, mm -hmm. I can see why you don't need a sauce. It's quite juicy as it is. Yeah. And there's a lot more bread than on a typical pizza with the dough. Like you really, really get a big chunk of bread yeah. when you bite into it. But you know it. what? I am missing the tomato sauce. Like that's just something that I associate with pizza toppings. So I feel like that's missing. Yeah. But who knows? Maybe they do have calzones with tomato sauce and we just... Maybe we got the wrong one. <laughs> we don't know because it's our first time trying it. So time for final thoughts on this dish. What did you think, Sam? So overall, it was really quite good. Like it was really fascinating to finally try this calzone for the first time. But there was one point of criticism that I'd like to point out. It's that they use canned mushrooms. Oh, that's like a those. big no-no for Sam. Yeah, I just find them slimy and ugh, 
yuck, a little bit yucky. I mean, I ate them, but yeah. It's not your favorite. But in terms of portion, that was massive. We couldn't finish it all, so it defeated us. We were getting it packed up and we're gonna take it home for a little snack or for dinner tonight. And the other thing I wanted to mention it was just along this particular avenue, Avenida Corrientes. There's a lot of historical restaurants. Some of them are pushing the one century mark. Some of them are almost 100 years old. So if you're gonna go to dine anywhere in the city, I really recommend this particular street. There's a lot of historical restaurants worth checking out. And last but not least, price point. Okay, so that calzone was just a little bit over 200 pesos, which is about 14 US dollars or seven per person. So not bad, but I have to say, I do prefer pizza. You can get some really good pizza in the city. So this is okay, but it's not necessarily a dish that I would, you know, like chase. Yeah, and not just in the city, but you can also get really good pizza here. We saw someone order a pizza and it looked delicious. So. Yeah, <laughs> food envy. A little bit of food envy.